Hello everyone, this is Sabari from Dr. Farms and today I'm going to share the investment and return of one acre of dragon fruit cultivation in India. So far the idea of cultivation of dragon fruit is giving good cash flow and good return. So we have successfully completed 10 years and had a record harvest this year. Hence, I decided to spread the idea of success. And uh, of course, money is growing in the tree. And I'm going to explain, I'm going to describe, I'm going to show you a product with purpose. So next, let us go for uh, detail the uh, dragon fruit cultivation plants. And what are the materials it's required? This is my dragon fruit farm. Uh, we have successfully uh, cultivating uh, dragon fruit uh, in in almost 20 acres of 10,000 poles. Uh, we started in the year of 2012. And uh, so this is the pole preparation. Uh, which we did it right in the farm so that we can uh, uh, give uh, employment opportunity to the locals at the same time we can see the quality of the product is made in the right in front of us and we made this um, pole and then the trellis I'm going to give more detailed uh, explanations about the measurements and what are the costing involved uh, in a separate video that's a separate thing which uh, we are going we will discuss in the future next let's go for the next um, once you make the poles so you have to carry the pole to the field and then you have to place it so before you carry it to the pole to the field make sure that you measure the field and then you have to dig the hole so once the hole has been uh, done and then it is easy for you to place the pole on the right, right next to the hole. So the pole has reached the field and then after that you have to uh, tie the thread so that you have you can measure uh, the length and width and also it has to be when you when you when you erect the pole it has to be straight in a line so that it looks uh, neat and it's more landscaping also. So after the pole has been erected then you can uh, place the trellis on the top so you can place the trellis after six months also it depends on you if you have done if you have made the trellis at the time of pole is ready then you can do it at the same time so that you can finish the work one time if not you can do it after six months or after eight months once the plant reaches the uh, crown or the top of the pole so uh, you can in, in this uh, you can use the tire and also you can use a concrete pole. There are two options. If you use a tire, then you can reduce the expense to about mm, around 40 to 50 percentage. Uh, but the concrete gives more stronger and robust uh, uh, support to the dragon fruit uh, plants. You, you have to understand that the dragon fruit is a very heavy plant. At the same time, once it reaches on the top, it like to hang. Uh, so that once only when it hangs down, then it gives the uh, when it uh, produces the uh, flowering and then fruiting and uh, let's move on to the next uh, that is the next requirement very important is the plants so these are our own plants so we have the rooted plants and also we have the some of the nursery which we uh, made it before we plant uh, the dragon fruit plants so I will have a different video the how, I'm going to explain how you have to prepare the plants what you have to do to protect the plants from the fungal and any diseases for the future. So what you have to prepare the, your uh, plants, saplings or the plants before you plant the uh, dragon fruit in the field. Next, let's go for uh, once you plant, then the dragon fruit will grow like this. And uh, it will take about 18 months to 24 months to grow like this. And once it grows like this, then you will see the flowerings like this. So the flowers uh, start in the month of uh, uh, March. So once it starts in the March, it will go until the November. 
so again i will give you more detailed explanation about the flowering and the cycle of dragon fruit so once the flowering has been uh, done then the fruits uh, will uh, be ready by next 45 days and then the harvesting is going on so after the harvesting then you will have to grade the fruits so the grading fruits the grade of the harvest is very very important in any dragon fruit business i am going to describe in a very detailed uh, uh, manner in a video why the grading of fruit will lead to a successful farming successful dragon fruit farming grading is very very important in that we have a different type of grading uh, in short i can give you the gradings uh, range from a a a b c d these are the categories that we have to grade in that also there are the ratios that a farm has to meet that ratio so that they will have a successful revenue and an outcome and let's move on to the next so what are the varieties of the dragon fruit that we grow at our doctor farms so we have uh, two varieties one is the jumbo pink and the vietnam king white so these are the two varieties that uh, really giving me very good results um there is uh, these these fruits are huge my as i told my grading my uh, harvested fruits are 60 percentage and above of a grades so that shows that my variety is in a good variety and is one of the best variety and we have been successfully selling this variety since 10 years and so we have a track record of success of this variety and that has been accepted by our people so it is a very good variety and it is a very good fruit next is vietnam kimi is an excellent white fruit beautiful color very good taste and it is a very good uh, yield so overall jumbo pink and vietnam kim is the one of the best variety that we have planted and it gives us a very good return very good yield let's move on to next so once the harvest is done the grading is done then you have to go for the oh packing so you can do different types of packing so we adopted uh, two different packings one is the packing with the cotton box and the next one is with the uh, crates so uh, the, the cotton ball the, the cotton boxes so what we do is we place the fruits right like this um, and then we use the, the waste paper or sometimes we just place the fruits and then we pack it and we uh, send it we dispatch it okay these are the basic things that i covered how you have to prepare the pole how you have to plant the pole erect the pole and then how you have to plant the uh, dragon fruit how you have to harvest and then how you have to grade and then how you have to pack these are the basic things that is is standard for all the fruits but what are the what is the difference between other fruits uh, and then dragon fruits how it, how it is different in cultivation so basically I'm going to cover up very quick uh, what are the materials required that you need to have for a dragon fruit uh, farm or to cultivate dragon fruits. Uh, of course, you need a land. We consider, uh, we take uh, this uh, as one acre uh, land. So you need one acre land and then you need to prepare uh, the land. And for one acre, you need to dig 500 holes. Of course, you need uh, 500 concrete poles and then 500 concrete trellis. And then you need uh, one pole needs four plants so of course so in that case 500 poles into four is 2000 dragon fruit saplings or plants you need to cultivate the dragon fruit in one acre then uh, you need the drip irrigation method drip irrigation method is one of the best method and uh, next you need the plastic drums you know about 200 or 250 ml uh, uh, capacity drums which you need uh, for the uh, purpose of uh, you know fetigation and also mixing jiva maritam and then uh, other uh, organic uh, mixtures so then you need the sprayers or sprayers you can buy the battery charging sprays that is the better one if you go for uh, uh, the uh, petrol or, um, sprays then you have to buy the petrol each time instead of the sprayers is is cost effective and also it's easy to operate and it's one of the best so foliar spray is very important because once you uh, give the nutrients like panchagavya through your uh, foliage spray to the plants the leaves can absorb faster and the nutrient can reach the plants faster so dragon fruit is full of leaves uh, so the foliage spray is one of the best way that you can 
take the nutrient into the plants. Uh, next is the pruner. You need a pruner, minimum two pruners that you can buy. And uh, those are very important for you to train the dragon fruit from the planting until it reaches the uh, top of the dragon fruit. Even after that reaching the top of the dragon fruit, you need pruner. Without pruner, you cannot do dragon fruit farming. So a pruner is must. So you need two of them. Next is the brush cutter. So you're cultivating in a one acre and you, uh, you will have a lot of grasses, you know, a lot of weeds. So you, to reduce the expense and make it fast, brush cutter is very important. You can, there is different types of brush cutters available in Indian market. Um, the best brush cutter so far in my experience is the Honda brush cutter. It costs about 32 to 34,000 rupees. However, that is the best brush cutter that will last long and it work uh, efficiently. Next coming to the manure. Uh, approximately you need about two tons of manure it can be vermicompost it can be uh, goat manure but there are two best manures that is best for dragon fruit that is goat manure and the vermicompost I don't recommend using chicken manure for dragon fruits I don't know why we tried and it is not giving a good taste to our fruits, so we are not recommending anyway I'll go in deep in what are the manures and fertilizers fertilizers organic fertilizers that uh, we practice our farm doctor farm is 100 percent organic certified farm so i'm going to give you more detail and uh, with that detail it is very easy and is um, best way of practice and i'm uh, that practice is because that comes because out of our experience now coming to the next uh, so i'm going to describe uh, how much it's going to cost for pole um, you know manufacturing or pole concrete pole uh, costing for one acre you need 500 poles for that I have calculated according to the present price so you need iron rods you need cement you need you need uh, you know stones and then uh, sand and then uh, you need uh, to prepare the pole you need to pay the wages and then miscellaneous expense such as waste oils and then you need the modules that you need to you know put the uh, pole structure so all those things I have calculated as for present uh, uh, inflation and state of expenses how much it will cost <coughs> uh, because we recently did and uh, we have come across this much costing <clears throat> so the total expense for 500 poles per one acre it will be four lakhs twelve thousand five hundred uh, for per pole it costs about 825 whereas five years before we do <coughs> cultivate we do um, prepared the pole at that time it cost 450 now it is the double the cost uh, next let's go for the trellis preparation again you need 500 trellis of course you need cement and then uh, stone and sand again you need to pay the wages for them and then you need the miscellaneous expenses uh, so it cost uh, around 250 as I told you before that if you want to go for a tire it will cost uh, you 50% less or yeah 50 to 60 percent less I preferred a more robust structure so I go with a concrete trellis so per trellis it costs about 500 rupees as I said um, five years before when we did it cost only 250 rupees whereas now it's costing 500 because the iron price has increased, the cement price has increased, the wages has increased, the uh, diesel petrol price, so the transport has increased, so everything is increased, so it will cost about 500. The costing that I mentioned is, it's always in a higher end. It can be reduced a little bit, but I just gave, put it in a higher end so that we should not uh, keep our, uh, exp we should not show our expenses very minimum and then so the profit in a very uh, in a huge difference. So instead of that, if you are if you are a realistic person, uh, and if you see the cost of the costing increases, uh, so it can lead to this price for sure. Now next, let us go for the total costing. So we have uh, seen the pole and then trellis. Now let's go for the uh, total costing what it will cost overall so the pole costing 
trellis costing, then land preparation, then uh, dragon fruit plants. Just keep 50 rupees per plant, it costs 1 lakh, and then drip irrigation you need for an acre. So, we are talking about the plastic drums. Uh, you need plastic drums 3 for the purpose of uh, organic farming, and then sprayer for foliar spray, pruner, brush cutters, manure, whole erection and planting expenses. So, all those things. All those expenses would cost about 8 lakhs 69,500 rupees per pole expense is 1740 as I have mentioned five years before when we did this per pole it cost about 1200 now almost to find a rupees uh, increase in uh, making pole and uh, wage increases everything so next let us come to so we have seen what is what was the investment required and uh, what now we are going to we will see about what is the uh, return that we can expect mm. since we have completed 10 years we started in 2012 so since we have completed uh, 10 years so we are trying uh, we have seen what is the revenue what is the return what is expenses so based on that i'm trying to give you a rough estimation of expenses and expected income and i have given a hundred rupees a minimum price for a kg of dragon fruit it depends see something at present we sell a grade fruit for rupees 150 per kg and then b grade for 125 to 130 per kg so C grade for 100 and 110 rupees per kg. So these are the price, but overall I have just put about 100 rupees per kg. So if you if you see my table of uh, expenses, first year you will come across about close to 10 lakh rupees per acre. And then in the second year, you will see there is no income on the first year, first year. So the second year, again, it's going to be expense because only by third year, you will see some sort of uh, yield that you can expect about minimum uh, 2000 kgs that's no doubt about it in third year so when you see the expenses and then when you minus the uh, income so you will have again a 10 lakh uh, less you haven't uh, uh, got back your invested money in the third year so fourth year you will expect uh, you can expect uh, about double the uh, yield of third year so when when you come to the fifth year that's a year where you will have a, a, a good harvest and then you will see a good return and then the sixth year is the year where you're breaking the even and then you are making profit so i have calculated uh, um, about sixth year by three lakh twenty eight thousand rupees will be in profit and then from seventh year onwards you keep a minimum expense of 200 and 2 lakh 40 thousand rupees per acre per year and uh, uh, and uh, yield of 10 tons easily we we take about 10 to 12 tons per acre and uh, if i'm just giving you 10 tons 10 tons of uh, 10 thousand kgs of uh, yield per acre on the seventh year onwards then easily you can make 10 lakhs uh, per year if you make 10 lakhs per year and then less the expenses there is no investment there less expenses then you will be able to have a, a profit of seven and a half lakhs per one acre in one year so when you see by end of 10 years you will have over 33 lakhs of rupees of profit in total in 10 years by uh, cultivating one acre of dragon fruit farming so the dragon fruit lifespan is from 20 to 30 years. So I have again calculated until 20 years what would be the return on investment for dragon fruit farming. So when you considered from the 11th year, you were making about 7,50,000 rupees of profit and uh, it comes about uh, by 20 year, uh, you will have a profit more than one crore rupees uh, in profit in cultivation of one acre dragon fruit farming so this is this may be more i i just i just uh did uh as i told you the expenses i have given a little bit 
on a higher margin and then the income i have put a little bit lower margin so that in in this manner itself in this way itself we are able to see a very good return on investment from one acre of dragon fruit farming and uh, sapsang dragon fruit fresh organic healthy is my company sapsang foods private limited is a registered company and uh, uh, make in india as i want to say that uh, dragon fruits have been imported from uh, uh, vietnam uh, mostly from vietnam and thailand so we are cultivating red dragon fruit basically red dragon fruit is not imported like white dragon fruit so oh, the price will be always stable and it will be uh, it will give good return so make in india uh, we are fulfilling the dream of make in india when you cultivate dragon fruit and uh, this is my farm and this is myself and the uh, year of 2017 uh, when i visited india i run the farm remotely from living in abroad um, so i am so proud of this uh, idea and it is it was so successful that we are very happy uh, once upon a time we used to cultivate uh, in this land uh, uh, yearly crops like tapioca and uh, we have uh, very less return and there is actually you cannot say return <laughs> they very uh, we were in loss so since i stepped i ventured in dragon fruit farming uh, we see lot of growth a uh, lot of potential in this uh, dragon fruit and uh, i started with uh, 11000 uh, uh, no uh, 1100 poles and right now we have 10000 poles so every year i increase about uh, 500 to 1000 poles and i keep expanding so dragon fruit uh, bis uh, farming and business is it gives a product that helps the people to uh, help in uh, treating many disorders and diseases uh, so dragon fruit product uh, is a product with purpose so when you deliver a product with the purpose it is successful so uh, thanks for watching my video if you like my video you can give me a thumbs up and then uh, subscribe my video for more videos i'm trying to release a video every once in a month uh, about the detailed information about dragon fruit and uh, uh, thanks for watching and have a, a good day bye